right, what is up, y'all? Lynn Ray here. Today is day number five of my learning to code journey. Uh, this video is not going to be like the other videos, won't be as long, maybe like 10 minutes or so, but I'm going to show you basically what I've been working on. Um, I've still been doing like the classes using Code Academy. I'm uh, also uh, doing classes with uh, Free Code Camp as well. But today and a little bit last night, I kind of focused on just trying to figure out my website, right? Using the lessons that I've learned, just trying to tweak things to make things look a little bit prettier and a little bit more professional. It's still not, you know, amazing, but it's coming along as I learn. Again, I've only been doing this five days. You know, what can you expect? So let's go ahead and check it out here. So this is the page right now. And uh, as you can see, if you saw my page the other day, it looks a little different. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that there's pictures here. So these are actual working links. Yesterday there were words. Yesterday it would say, you know, it said, um, it said YouTube, and then it said Instagram and GitHub and contact me. But I was able to figure out using Code Academy, using the lessons that I learned there, uh, the lessons I was taught, to uh, change this into an actual overlay. And these right, these pictures are are sitting on top of this excuse me, these, these icons are sitting on top of the picture. So in order to put these icons on this picture, I had to change up some things and I'll show you that right here. So well, the first thing I did is I, I deleted, or sorry, I'll go back. So the first thing I did, I actually found these pictures on a, uh, on a website that's, that you know, I guess they specialize in making logos and things like that. So I took the logos, the logos were massive. I mean, they were, they were probably like a thousand by a thousand pixels. So they were, they were large. So I had to go ahead and go into preview and resize them. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a video on that and I'll go ahead and leave the link in, in the description for that. I had to resize those to, these are about 100 by 100 pixels. I may actually do them a little bit smaller, but uh, I think 100 by 100 looks, looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and put this so that it stays on top. So I will go back to this here. We don't really need to see this bottom code because that's not really being used. So what I did was I, I, again, I resized the photos. I put them in my image file and I put the image file within. So I nested the image file within the anchor. So I have the anchor, which has like, for instance, this anchor is my YouTube page anchor. And within my anchor, I have nested the image. So basically, whenever you click on this image, my YouTube page comes up. Whenever you click on this image, my Instagram comes up. Whenever you click on this, same thing, my GitHub. And on this one, my email comes up. So those work very well. I was pretty happy with that. I was pretty excited when I, when I got it. It took me a few tries. It didn't quite work the first time, but it was just little things. I was leaving out like semicolons and things like that. So things that I will get better at as I, as I learn more and, you know, get a little bit better at paying attention to those smaller details. So that was the first thing. So I'm going to go over here to the CSS portion. Let's see. Uh, so my margins, we talked about that already in another video. My H1 uh, font size margin, that's good. Okay, so we'll start here with the slogan. So this is a, this is called a class. So this is my slogan class. So pretty much anything on the HTML side with this slogan class will be aligned in the center. So right now we have my Lynn Ray's ride and my, this is my canvas. And also down at the bottom, aim high. So as you can see, they are aligned in a center. Then raise right, this is my canvas, aim high. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, pretty, pretty easy, peasy there. All right, and this one right here is my social links class. Basically this, I just want whatever's, whatever's uh, fixed with this social link class will be moved over to the right-hand side. So very similar to align text, but on the right-hand side. So I did that with my social links. As you can see, they are aligned to the right-hand side there. And I'll show you that, uh, where are you at right there? So there it is. It's applied to this class, social links. Now, the most important part, or at least 
what I was the most excited about is the main banner. So yesterday, my main banner was actually an image that was placed right here. So I had all my little links and then my image was under it. So let's go back to this. So these, the actual links, were actually placed above the image. So yesterday, using Codecademy, I was able to learn how to overlay, how was, uh, overlay images on top of images. And that's what I did. So I was pretty excited about that. I was, I, it, like I said, it took me one or two tries. Just things weren't quite working out right. But I figured it out, and I, and I got it now. So now, what I did is I made... A new class so a main banner class and you can name these classes can be named anything uh, you just you just pick whatever you want just as long as the information here is correct uh, and also it has to have the dot to there as well the period so basically what I did was I have the background image set and that was important so it's important that I have my picture as the background image so that the the um, the links can be on top of the picture so I have this set to Sunset main and uh, so this and this is kind of weird but these little dots here are basically telling HTML to look excuse me telling CSS to look uh, look one folder back okay so just it's just basically showing telling CSS the path to this sunset main.jpg file I have background size, I have cover, and self-explanatory, and then I have the height set at 606. So I selected 606 because the picture is 606 pixels high and 1,177 pixels wide. So I picked the height to be the correct height so that the picture is in proper proportion. If I picked any taller, the picture would get bigger and bigger and bigger and wider. And so 606 pixels is perfect because the pixel, I mean, excuse me, the picture fits properly on the screen and looks nice. With that said, I, uh, I, I may not keep this picture, but right now I'm going to keep it there. I actually love, I'm, I'm a beach guy. I actually grew up on a beach. Um, I lived in Hawaii for a few years. I lived in California for a few years. Uh, I love the beach. I don't like the sand too much, but I do like the beach. And uh, so I might keep that picture there for a while. I've got, I'm a photo I do photography as well, and I've got thousands of pictures. So I may or may not keep that picture there. I may change it up. Who knows? Also, let's go back. Uh, that looks like that's about it. So let's go down here also to the aim high. Just kind of a little tweak that I'm going to do. So right now, this there's nothing down here on the bottom. It looks very bland. I may put a small banner or a small background image here. Uh, and also possibly um some type of image that's going to go along the side or maybe i'll just use some type of color on the side because it looks very 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 bland right now uh, eventually this is going to be a blog website so i'm going to have uh i'm going to have you know the dates and the years and you, you've seen the typical blog websites where it's got the uh, the months and the years on the side here you can click on them and go to specific months and dates that's how it's going to look i haven't quite learned how to do that and again my goal is to build this website uh, from scratch using my knowledge and not take someone else's code and put it on here. That's not what I want. I want this to be 100% my stuff, uh, my page, using the stuff that I know. So that's why this page looks kind of bland right now. But, you know, four days ago, it was literally just HTML. There was absolutely no pictures on it. There was nothing. It was just words. So I think I'm doing fairly well. Um, you know, considering uh, this is this is very new to me, uh, you know, five days into this. But I think that's all I got for you guys today, guys and gals today. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, if this is beneficial, like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.